Hey beautiful, this is Anton and in this video I'm going to be talking about the event that happened about a month ago uh, for users of Arch Linux. Now if you don't know anything about Arch Linux, it's this amazing Linux distribution that basically allows you to create uh, operating system as you want it. I've been actually using Manjaro Linux for I think like a few years now and it's absolutely brilliant. The thing is, um, very recently, uh, several people discovered that uh, three packages in the user repository were actually um, unofficially infected with malware. Well, okay, there's no malware on Linux, there's no viruses, but uh, there is a way for someone to change certain things in files to make it sort of act as a malware, and that's exactly what happened. Now, let me actually give you a little bit of detail and then tell you how to essentially avoid this in the future. If you are using Arch Linux, this is really important for you. If you are thinking of using Arch Linux, you need to know about this before you start. Now, typically, if you're trying to install something on Arch, you have to use Package Manager, which is Pacman, and basically type Pacman-S, capital S. Uh, but you can also obviously use the visual version of this. And here, uh, I'm gonna show you the package that was in question. There's actually three of them, but two of them were removed right away, so nobody even knows uh, what they were. Uh, and the package in question is still there, you can still download it, but the actual malware code was removed. But before I show you the package known as AcroRead, um, let me explain for those of you who don't know anything about Arch, that there's actually two repositories. This is the official one, that's the one that's really safe, there's pretty much everything that's uh, already been proofread and double checked, so none of these will ever be infected with anything, fingers crossed. But then there's AUR, which is really what makes um, Arch so incredible, but also relatively uh, unsafe. And this package is from AUR, which stands for Arch User Repository. So basically this is kind of like the open source of the open source. That's essentially where anybody and their grandma can contribute code and it can then be downloaded and used by people. And right here we have this package called AcroRead, so you can actually right click on it and go into details and find a little bit uh, about its last modification and also how many votes it had and then find the actual site uh, where you can locate this or in other words, find more information about the actual package. But this particular package is actually just fine. As a matter of fact, the person who has been maintaining it um, didn't really do anything bad. It's the person who actually copied this or basically cloned this and created his own version that uh, then was orphaned or unofficially abandoned. And because this is open source and because basically everything here is visible to everyone, you can actually see what happened. So a person by the name of the actor, and actually Google this name, it doesn't really exist before this event for some reason. Uh, so this was just created probably only for this purpose. Uh, on July 7th of uh, 2018, changed a few things, including removing the main maintainer, Tom Kwok. Look this guy up. Uh, he's basically a computer science student somewhere in Hong Kong and then made himself main uh, maintainer and essentially added a few parts of code that was then submitted to AUR. The actual excerpts from code can be found on GitHub and uh, if you kind of go through this, you'll realize that what it did is add this kind of a data collection um, that essentially logged some things about your computer and then reported back to this the actor person, um, but surprisingly, or I guess not surprisingly, it was discovered really fast and removed pretty much right away. So even though we discovered about this, I think on July 9th or 8th, uh, pretty much within a day, uh, the actual AUR uh, contributors were able to discover the malware and basically ban this the actor person. But this in itself creates this uh, kind of a concern, but also um, a learning experience from all of this. You as a AUR user need to be really careful if you ever start using Arch full time and if you ever start using um, user uh, repositories. I actually have quite a lot of them installed myself, uh, but whenever or before I install them, I always do the following and you maybe want to even go further than that. Always check the details and basically go Go to the link and make sure to check the changes and the commits at least a little bit. See uh, if there were any unusual contributions in the last few months or if anything was added that shouldn't be there. Like for example, uh, for the new Acro read version, you can see that it, it's always by the same author and he describes what he changed. So this no longer looks fishy or unusual. Um, if however suddenly something changed that you don't really think should be there, don't download it. It's just not worth the risk. But I guess the good thing about all of this is that 
This was discovered almost instantly and it essentially uh, hit the news so fast that uh, the person that, that was trying to do this as a kind of a malware experience never had a chance. And so this is actually the beauty of our Linux community. Everyone is pretty quick at responding to these events, so there's usually nothing to worry about. The official repository is definitely pretty safe and even the user repositories are always sort of watched over and maintained relatively frequently. But nevertheless, that doesn't mean that you should blindly install everything. Make sure to double check at least the changes that were committed in the last few months. Anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe, leave a like and let me know in the comments below what else do you want to know about Linux in general. See you later, bye bye.